Hello and welcome to my third Blender video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to make a jelly cube in Blender. This will include the simulation and material. So, let's begin. So, we're going to keep the default cube. Just go into front view and drag it up a little. I'm going to drag it up six should be fine. Go into edit mode tab and subdivide the cube twice. Not say about. Now go add mesh plane and scale this plane up. Four is okay. No wait, no, we don't want it four. Uh, scale it up quite a bit. So, so yeah, I'll, I'm setting it to. Minus 14. So now we have a plane. Now go to your cube. Go to the physics tab and enable cloth physics. Okay, now under the presets, set it to rubber. Now select your plane and create, make it enable collision physics now press alt a to play and you'll see our cube bounces like a jelly cube ok now select your cube and se let's select shade smooth let's create a subsurf modifier do this after you have that cloth go like that and now let's play it and we have a nice little jelly cube now the materials is rather experimental but it's create, I'm going to create a red one today so turn up the spec um, move the hardness up a little you can uh, leave the intensity of the fuse go to mirror and no wait don't go to mirror sorry we'll first go transparency ray trace set the alpha to about 0.3 and the IOR is between 1.2 and 1.3 gives the best so I'm going to go 1.25 go in between ok now alt A to play now let's render and we have a pretty funky looking jelly cube now let's play with lighting first of all our jelly cube is transparent and we want this plane to receive transparent materials so go add a new material to the plane go down here to shadow and enable receive transparent if we render now we should not see the black shadow but the red shadow there now let's play with lighting people use ambient occlusion you can use this it is fine it slows down your render time stuff what i find is a good way to fake it and that actually doesn't look bad i find a good way to fake it is to add, turn your add a hemi lamp so set the one lamp to hemi with the energy of 0.2 and then the other lamp to a sun with the energy of 1 this doesn't give you an ambient occlusion effect but brings down your render times and it's fine for what we're doing now because we're not really bothered about shadows now so now you see we have uh, as I said materials are experimental so here it might not look so great but you're going to have to experiment a bit you know you can actually we want to apply mirror also a bit of reflectivity but like a tiny bit make the reflectivity red a reddish color uh, now I'm going to make it pure red <laughs> now I'll hit render this might take a bit of a while 
let's wait. Okay, it doesn't look like it's making much of a difference. Okay, now, this, I was just trying something. Don't do it. Turn off my app. Okay. You can also experiment by bringing down the specularity. And I want you can also change that to Fong, which might also help a bit. Okay, no, 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 I'm just set it back. So, as as I said, I haven't experimented. I'll actually pull the diffuse shader up. Okay, but anyways, it's for me it's trial and error. You can it will take me quite a while to figure out how to do this. So I'll I don't wanna make this video too long. So what I'll do is if I come up with a better material than what we are doing in this ooh wait, that looks nice. I'm keeping it at that. So anyways, as I was saying, if I come up with a better material, I will publish it on as a quick tip. But otherwise, we're going to be using this from now on. Okay, so now we have our jelly key. Now we can bounce it around. So now let's have it rotate in a random, random, rotate it now randomly. Press R for rotate and press R again. Because I love this rotate tool. And just rotate it towards like that. Now play it, and you'll see some pretty interesting bouncing effects. You're gonna have, you can rotate back quite a bit, like I'll try that. So, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Thank you. And you see, you have the bounce effect. So now, to set physics, because now, look. We've set it, but what if we were to take add a sphere, UV sphere, and shrink it a quite a bit, set smooth, go to the physics tab, enable collision. Look what happens when I hit that. It just slides across. Jelly does not do that. So, under here, set under cloth collision change the friction quite hard, you need it quite hard to get a noticeable effect now I'll just wait for it there we go, that's nice yeah, I don't push your screw I mess it up there kind of <laughs> ok anyways uh, now what we can do it's I'm just gonna give this ball a silver material. So add a new material, set it a little darker, add a mirror, quite a bit of reflectivity, and set that a little dark. And if we do bounce camera view in the leave the camera the way it is. Now I have uh, we're gonna add in keyframes. So yeah, the key bounces. So pause at 120. Good start. Make add a uh, press I and insert a keyframe for location for the ball. And go to 130 and 130. What happened now? Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, Okay, go to 130 and put your silver ball there. Now I'll go insert keyframe location. Go to 140 and drag the ball off again. Then go to oh, go to the beginning. Now go to 150 and drag the ball even deeper in because remember it's gonna have slided a bit. So, um, insert location keyframe, 
got to 116 okay the silver ball back now you can end the animation at 160 if you want or to get a nice after effect end it at 180 or in the end it at 200 so now let's play it full tap okay you can see now yes that's nice okay now the rendering we are going to render it as PNGs make a and in your temp make a folder JMQ and then this is I just like doing this um jelly hash 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 means the file name is going to be called jelly 001 jelly 002 jelly 003 just you know okay now yes that looks right what does our silver ball look like does it look correct it looks fine I think we're ready to render. So go to the beginning, hit animation, and we'll start rendering. For this, I'm going to pause my video tutorial as this is going to take a while. I'll resume it when it's done. Okay. Okay, hello and welcome back after, uh, as you can see, our render has finished and we now have 200 PNG files waiting in our temp folder or wherever we saved it. So, go to the, where you saved them and we we'll just go we save them chili cubes so I have a lot of vendors that I've done chili cube um select all copy it and open Windows Live Movie Maker Take all of these 200 pictures and then drag them into Windows Live Movie Maker. Now we have 23 hour long video. Correction 23 minutes. Don't want to. So Control A to select all. Here under video tools, go edit and duration. Now open your calc later. So one second we are doing 24 frames per second. So one divided by 24 is equal to 0 0.0416. So go here 0 0.0416. Okay, we will round it off, whatever. And now you can see it brought down the time to 8 seconds. Now you can press play. And you'll see we have a full animation. Of course, if this is too fast for you, you can always decrease the duration. But this is what it was like. So now we go back to home and we say save movie. And I'm just going to save it for computer. You can save it for high definition if you want. Um, it's going to be 173 megs though, so just save it. I'm just going to save it for computer and then save it as Jelly Test. And get it saved. Now if we go to where we saved it, if 
Funny, I lost my folder. So. have our jelly test as a Windows Media Video Format. Cool. So, thank you for watching my video tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. It's the longest one I've made so far. Um, please tell me what you think about it in the comment section. And uh, see you next time. Bye.